Hello everyone, this is uh, JD79, and uh, I'm going to be talking about the um, one of the places I have actually uh, been when I was a kid. And uh, the reason why um, I decided to visit this place a couple times is because um, this is Fairway Bowling, which is uh, right near a Natick, and this is a place where I went to as a kid. Um, I just uh, bowled again last night. I'm not the best bowler in the world, I got a, like a 58 or something like that, but I don't bowl that often. But this is, um, the reason why I, uh, visited the place is because, um, it was a, um, place I used to grow, I, a place, um, where I used to go to when, um, I was at Camp McCarthy, and, um, I go there every Tuesday, I went there every, every Tuesday, um, at the place here to go swimming and bowling, like, uh, in a bit, in the week over here, um, the reason and the reason why I'm going to be doing this here is that um, this bowling place um, didn't change a lot um, back in the last couple of and, and, and since 1970s. Um, and they haven't changed that back in the 19 uh, since the 1970s. And you know, apparently that um, they actually had a couple of um, dirt buildup on the um, somewhat of a dirt buildup on the on on the um, front panels here on. Um, like the bowling uh, above the pen here, and and apparently this place is closing down for the last time um, in May 20th. I'll probably go there one more time um, at the end of this month as a farewell um, to this uh, place here. And um, the thing about this bowling alley is that there were no arcade. Um, there was like no arcade rooms or no. Um, modernized uh, things. Everything was still done in paper, pencil and paper. Um, this was the um, paper over here. And yeah, this is not recorded back. This is a video that's not recorded back in the 1980s. This is recorded today. And as you can see, there's exactly um, nothing's been changed um, during the la and during the past couple weeks here. And um, the other thing is that I'm doing the voiceover later on because it's just been so noisy here. Um, that talking um, that talking over this um, uh, noise. Um, it'll just, it'll probably just be noise. That's why it's a uh, video. Uh, that's why it's a um, just taped a little bit here on um, my lane here. I was in lane 21. Um, I'm not the best bowler. I, I bowled a 58 here because I'm not a regular bowler anyway. I just want to be able to visit the place um, as sort of a farewell tribute to the place when I was a kid. Um, now. Um, one of the reasons is that bowling is, um, uh, bowling alleys is probably closing down because, um, there's probably just not that much people going bowling anymore. There used to be a bowling, there used to be another bowling alley, uh, which is right near Bethany Road. That's been shutting down. Um, but yeah, this place will be missed. Um, I don't think that bowling is going to be, um, Totally washed up. Maybe bowling will become popular again in the future. Um, but there used to. Uh, um, but back in the 80s and 70s, they used to be everywhere. Um, like every um, town probably used to have one. Uh, Made it here, uh, like this. But and the and. Um, Let's tell you a couple of things about this bowling alley. Um, the first thing is for most here um, is that there's actually like no food allowed except eating in a designated, designated area. And sure, yeah, this makes this place a little clean, um, but yeah, it really does backfire. And um, I think what they should have done to keep this uh, place open and to be more attractive is, yeah, you really have to um, add some sort of um, extra nudities um, toward this area. Um, put some more gourmet foods, and, um, I have a bowling out, um, there's a bowling alley near Kenmore Square, um, that, um, actually sells, um, full meals, and they actually deliver to you right, um, at the bowling alley, which was very cool in this place. Um, Too Fat Fairway, um, just doesn't have that, um, thing here. Um, the other thing, and, um, the other thing that Fairway does not have is bumper bowling. And um, this is, uh, um, bumper bowling for the kids, and this, and um, which is pretty much just set standard in this one here, yeah. And um, 
Yeah, Fairway tried to be as retro uh, because it's retro bowling, but yeah, um, there are some things you have to give up, and apparently, the pen and paper type of bowling thing, and um, the thing really, really does pay a price. Um, and the learning from the closure of this bowling alley is that, yeah, you really going to have to. Um, these, yeah, you really, uh, you, you're really going to have to, you know, um, keep up with um, today's um, technology. If they would have probably head towards computerized um, things there. Yes, um, I had to, uh, and during that game, I had to, like, look closely at what pins were knocked down before recording the paper here. I actually had a two, but then I had a three because, I mean, it was just so confusing. Sometimes you, um, sort of lose track of how many balls you've probably thrown here. It could be two or three. Um, but you, and everything was mechanic. You have to hold, you have to press a button to, um, start a new string. And, uh, sometimes, um, and there could be a couple of some people here who say, don't even know, remember what ball, what ball they're on when they're bowling here. Um, and the other thing is that the only souvenir I got was a paper thing, and um, that was the only thing I got. They didn't, they didn't even sell any um, pins you can actually be able to do it here. And um, but still, it's sad to see this place go because this was it's been there for a while, and um, I'll probably visit the place once or twice more. Um, but, all I have to say is, uh, farewell to this bowling center that's been around since I was a kid and I went there all the time. And, um, this is, uh, me, um, JD out. And, uh, another update, yes, um, the PlayStation, um, a class action lawsuit has been filed on behalf of the PlayStation here. Um, I like to see this. Ca I like to see this case open more because, uh, quite frankly, um, there's another rant over here. That says, I mean, you're really going to have to protect your. If you have over here, you have to be responsible. The, the, the Sony is responsible for um, your the protection of your data because, hey, I mean, I want to be able to. I, I want to be able to use my credit card and um, or debit card. I just want to go in. I just want to, you know, buy the games and enjoy the PlayStation Network worry-free. Uh, uh, but apparently, um, a couple of announcements that Sony took too long um, to um, inform us that our data has um, been breached. And um, I actually tried logging on. Um, I still can't log on. And apparently, you have to log on to change your stuff, and apparently, I was unable to do it because I still can't log on to the PlayStation Network. And um, but the good thing is that the PlayStation Network um, they shut it down for security reasons. But Sony, you really got—I mean, um, you really had—you you should have informed us last week about this. And. Um, I still want to see. I still want to see that guy brought the justice, the one who swiped all the data, and um, yeah, that person that swiped the data should should um, they should if he's found guilty, that guy should be spent a long time in jail for this, and um, I'm probably expect some good compensation, um, but um, that's just the latest in the PSN. Again, I just want to say farewell to Fairway. Um, one of my childhood places, and um, this is uh, again. This is Jay Zonahue. Um, peace out.